Welcome back to Singapore Tonight. Blood test results may soon come back quicker with a new type of chip known as ExoArc. Now, it can isolate plasma from blood through one-step process in about 30 minutes. Oh, that is much faster than the current process, which requires many steps, including spinning blood samples at high speed, known as centrifuge. To explain how the ExoArc works, we have with us Associate Professor Ho Han Wei. He's a biomedical engineer from NTU. Thank you for coming in this mm-hmm. evening, Professor Ho. Yeah. How does this, with an ExoArc, this machine we're looking at right here, with a chip right at the front, mm-hmm. how does it do better than a centrifuge? Okay. So the ExoArc actually refers to this device, and this is a microfluidic device. And inside this device actually consists of tiny channels, which is very small. It can be as small as one millimeter in in size, and blood is going to be pumped into this chip at a very high speed. So this machine you see here, this is a prototype machine we have. Inside this machine consists of pumps and tubings. And what this machine essentially does is to automate the process. So if you look at this picture here, we have on, the, on this side, we have the blood tube. So mm. after blood draw, this will be the one of the blood tubes. And what's going to happen is the user will connect the blood tube to the machine, and then the device will be placed right at, at the front. And once they start the program, what happens is that blood from, the, blood from the blood tube will be drawn automatically and pumped into this device. Now with this exoarc device, what it does is it actually separates out the plasma from the blood in a very quick and efficient manner. And so what happens is that after the blood, as the blood continuously continuously flow into the device, the plasma will become off and be collected in this small little tube as shown here. And once this process is completed, then this plasma can then be used for downstream analysis. So the good part is you can see that it's a quite, it's automated. It reduces a lot of manual steps. And this is the reason why we can speed up the blood sample preparation to reach to process about a tube of blood takes about 30 minutes. Right, so what I hear you say is that it's that automation which essentially speeds up the time, is that right? You were mentioning that it's, it's quicker, it's more efficient because of that? Yes, because traditionally blood plasma isolation is done using centrifugation. Mm. So what happens is that after blood is drawn, blood will be sent to a central lab to process, to extract the plasma using centrifugation process, and this is currently the, still the gold standard. But then in principle, I mean, sorry to be uh, uh, just a very obvious question, you'd still have to send blood to this machine, yes. right? Would you not? So this, th- that process is not lost. <coughs> and the centrifuge, if I remember, I used to have to work one, it spins around really quickly and mm-hmm. the speed of it separates the plasma from the rest of it. So this is using a pump method. In terms of the speed, it doesn't actually change that, does it? It changes the distribution. That's the speed. That's what you're talking about. So there are two ways to look at it because this machine is small and portable. So we envision that the machine can be placed in the primary care setting at the clinic at hospitals so that blood can be processed immediately after the blood is drawn. So this will remove or reduce issues related to uh, blood degradation because of the long waiting time or uh, during the blood transport. Mm. And secondly, for the, for the chip part, because we separate out the cells, because blood is going to be pumped in at very high speed, right? And the, uh, the uh, key feature of this device is that it's actually very gentle in terms of sorting out the plasma. So what happens is that for centrifugation, you're going to spin the bl- blood for like 20 minutes and then cells will sediment down because it's denser and then you collect the yellow liquid up as the plasma. Now, this process is it's not very efficient and typically this has to be repeated twice by a technician. And you can imagine that this is going to be, takes a lot of manual steps involved and it's going to be time-consuming. And this also depends, highly dependent on the skills of the operator. So this is why we try to automate the whole process to, try to, to standardize the way we isolate the plasma from samples. And so, so essentially, the machine can be used by anyone who typically might need to do blood work. Is, is that correct? By, by in, in any laboratory setting? Uh, yes. In, in short, yes. But we think that the more value this, this exoarc can offer is targeting those highly sensitive tests. For example, the testing of genetic markers that is widely used in the precision medicine. Right. And, and why is that? Is because it's so precise? Uh, this is because for genetic materials, right, one of the problems is the target that you want to detect 
the genes that you want is usually very low in abundance in the blood. And so this makes the detection highly variable. So to have a good sample preparation is important. And what happens is that the blood cells that we have inside, actually they themselves contain a lot of genetic material. So what's going to happen is that if your centrifugation is not done properly, this will break down the cells, this will release a lot of additional materials, and this will create a lot of background noise and affects the sensitivity and accuracy of all this genetic testing. All right, clearly there's a lot of potential for this uh, on many fronts. So it's not just speed, and now that you've explained it, there's a great deal more advantages from using this machine and that chip as well. Thanks so much for coming into the studio and showing us with this equipment. Mm. Social Professor Ho Hanwei from NTU. Thank you.